Chief Sir, uh, from CFS, uh, he is the uh, chief. Uh, he is the MD of uh, CFS Group of Y Hospitals. Uh, we are waiting for Dr. Jivan Titial Sir uh, for being the convener, and joining us are also Dr. Sri Ganesh from Netadhama Eye Hospital, Bangalore. So, <coughs> we will go to the first talk, uh, which is on flax in different situa difficult situations by Dr. Mahipal Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, I'll be talking about flags in difficult situations and uh, I've been using the flags technology for almost 10 years now and uh, about 80 to 90 percent of my procedures are being done under flags. Yeah. Okay, so the first situation that I'll be talking about is posterior polar cataract. Uh, this is my preferred choice. I push the patient to go in for a mm -hmm. flax in a case of posterior polar cataract and that is because uh, you all know that there is a pre-existing weakness in uh, the posterior capsule that you can see uh, in polar cataracts and a hydraulic rupture can happen uh, which is there. When you're doing a femtolaser procedure at that particular time, the, there is a pneumodissection that happens and this eliminates the need for doing a hydrodissection or hydrodelineation to a large extent. Also the nuclear disassembly has already happened. So the important thing that you have in the, uh, in the femto is that you can see here that the ASOCT which is an integral part of any femto procedure will clearly outline whether there is a defect which you can see here there is a uh, defect in the posterior capsule and you know beforehand that uh, 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 the possibility of uh, having a posterior capsular rupture and we have published this paper in the journal for cataract and refractive surgery in which we have uh, we have said that uh, pre-existing posterior capsular dehiscence and uh, can be uh, seen on the femtolaser and how we can enhance the uh, efficacy of femtolaser uh, as regards reducing the incidence of uh, posterior capsular rent. So if you see here, so this is a clear cut if you see here there is a posterior polar cataract with a pre-existing rent which you can even see on a uh, slit lamp uh, right from the beginning. So you are mentally prepared but uh, you can see here when you are doing a femto laser you can see this is a clear cut defect which is there. Uh, in this, I will show you the various stages by which you can find out that there is a defect. So what we do in this particular case is that the, uh, uh, the posterior default is increased so that you are leaving the defect behind. And when you are going to do a nuclear fractionation under those circumstances, it will not come to the posterior limit where the defect is. So you can see this is a nice femto procedure that has been done. You can see the defect underlined on uh, coaxial and now you see the intraop OCT. Again on the intraop OCT you can easily see that there is a defect uh, and this is uh, uh, the, you can see this is a pneumodissection that has happened and we are able to take out the nucleus very well. Uh, so what we have left behind is an epinuclear cushion and that is what gives you the safety factor which is there. On the intraop OCT you can see that we are uh, removing the, uh, uh, the cortex and you can see that b when you are doing a control thing it is only right at the end that you see the defect uh, and you can see that this is the, uh, on the intraop OCT the defect which is uh, herniating. So this is the photo essay that was accepted. Uh, so you can see here slit lamp examination is showing you. Then if you do even an IOL master here also you can find out that there is a defect. When you go on to the femto procedure here also you will see the defect and this is the intraop OCT which is showing you the various uh, images. So this is uh, various imaging things which can help you in doing uh, a good femto procedure in a posterior polar cataract without actually having a nucleus drop. Uh, this is in a small uh, pupil, this is a malugan ring you can see. And uh, what is done is that if you p are able to uh, put a malugan ring, uh, you can do the procedure. Now this is another difficult case in which you can see that uh, this is a case where there is an ICL. So the important thing that I have to show you is that the optic of the ICL is recognized as the pupil by the femto cataract. So that you have to see, you saw that I enlarged the uh, pupil and uh, you have to also match the surfaces which have to be very correct because the back surface of the uh, 
लेंस कैन ऑफन बी मिस्टेकन एज द इंटीरियर कैप्सूल बट अदरवाइज इफ यू डू दीज द अलाइनमेंट प्रॉपरली दिस इज प्रेडी ईजी एंड यू कैन गो हैड एंड डू इन अ डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन अ फेमटो प्रोसीजर विच यू कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द आई सी एल एज बिन टेकन आउट एंड देर इज अ गुड प्री चॉपिंग एंड अ गुड न्यूक्लियोटमी दैट यू हैव नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इफ यू दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज द सेम वन विच इज कम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द स्मॉल पीपल विच वॉज देयर नाउ दिस इज द स्मॉल पीपल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, put a malleugen ring uh, you can see this is a malleugen ring that has been put you can go back you can either leave the visco and increase the power or the energy of the uh, femto or you can wash it and put a suture and go ahead and do a capsulotomy and a nucleotomy so in this particular case you can see this is the uh, this is the femto procedure that is being done in a small people and uh, once you can uh, get a good capsulotomy as also a nucleotomy that you can get in this particular case uh, which is here uh when you go ahead on the next uh, uh, treatment of choice well defined in phacomorphic glaucoma is uh, doing a femto procedure because it's a closed chamber you will not have a run through uh, dr titial is here he has described various forms of intumescent cataract you can see this is a phacomorphic glaucoma this is uh the back of the iris is uh, the iris is touching the back of the cornea and you can see that there was a mini explosion when we did a capsulotomy and uh, in such intumescent cataracts in phacomorphic you can see that uh, we are getting a good capsulotomy there may be some skip area so it's best to use a trepan blue so that you are able to uh, get a complete capsulotomy rock hard cataract is another difficult situation where you can see that uh, one you get a good capsulotomy the second thing is that as long as the cataract is not white uh, you are able to get a separation so all that i am trying to show you can you see these bubbles coming through and you can see this that this is a fractionation in a black cataract which is there so even in a rock hard cataract uh, the femto adds and aids in uh, reducing the phaco time which is there uh this is uh, just a case recently done this is a traumatic midriasis you can see in this particular case despite a, a subluxation which is there these are sphincteric atrophies which are there you can see that subluxation uh this helps in giving you a good uh kind of a good capsulotomy the nucleus removal uh, can be easy which you can see we can uh, we are doing a good nucleus removal uh, you can put an endocapsular ring you can put an iul and this is an uh, uh, fourth row pu uh, pupilloplasty that we have done uh, this is uh, the first one uh, four uh, throws you can see this is a pupil uh, becoming regular this is the second one that you do and uh, you can see that uh, it's a good outcome for this particular patient so flax in a subluxated cataract can also help this is again a post traumatic large uh, subluxation in this uh, in the earlier one we didn't use any posterior approach but you can use a posterior approach this has again been published uh, this is limited pars plana vitrectomy for optimizing the uh, surgical outcomes in this we go ahead uh from the posterior approach do a vitrectomy and then be able to do uh, the procedure so if you see here there is a vitreous blob on the oct in the femto laser that you can see uh in this particular case so what we will do is that uh, we will adjust uh, you can see it's a globular lens uh, uh, much more globular uh you can change the size of the capsulotomy you can uh, have it uh, off center because when you're going to put a ring it will become central in this particular case i have had my retina colleague go in from the pars plana route put trimsulone whatever vitreous is there remove the vitreous because of the femto you were able to get a good capsular access without a problem uh, putting in an endocapsular ring in this particular case because it's a nucleus which is pre chopped you can easily go ahead and uh, remove the uh nucleus material which is uh, there uh, because that has been disassembled and now once you have done that you can go ahead and uh, with a bi manual uh, remove the cortex and once the cortex is removed go ahead and put the intraocular lens so this is post traumatic subluxation three piece lens so friends i have been able to show you uh, uh, various uh, uh, difficult situations and as the technology of femto cataract has evolved it has found widespread use in complex cases and uh, i would say that it's time to take a leap of faith and switch over to the power of femto uh, and get good results in difficult cases so to conclude i will say that there are many devices aids that are developed to help a cataract surgeon and the primary aim is to reduce surgical time ultrasound power as also to come with 
uh, great outcomes and there are several uh, pros and cons for every machine and uh, the femto laser is one such machine which helps uh, in getting good results for you thank you very much for your kind attention thank you thank you maipal for uh, this excellent talk and uh, i want to emphasize one take home message and uh, one point which he showed excellently and what that was in a posteriorpolar cataract with pre existing defect uh, it was i think uh, the pre chopped nucleus which was important in not getting the posterior defect increased because otherwise if you had gone for a chop this would have caused a increment in the posterior capsular defect and then probably caused a you know difficult situation where nucleus drop was definitely possible so that's another you know positive point about femto and other uh, you know videos were also excellent thank you very much thank you any questions